When Earl said he wanted to take a photograph of me at the hearing, I was hesitant. I did not want anything to be about me. That peacocking is just not the style. But I think what Earl describes in his picture, the way he framed it, is really magnificent because you see who's around the subject. How do you go to Washington and talk about asbestos? How do, how do you to share what you know? Look at this slide. 20,000 asbestos fibers compared to grains of rice and human hair. We hired a scientist to do that. Next slide. So when Emily and I first went to Washington, we had no clue. It was like Mrs. Reinstein goes to Washington. It could have been a comedy for all we knew. Um, and Emily took the picture of her dancing with her father. We stood on the steps of the Capitol at the time. We took that picture into our meetings when we met with Senator Feinstein and Boxer. And when we talked about Alan with the photograph about Emily might maybe not having a chance to do the father daughter dance, I saw the staffers well up in tears. I saw the picture made a difference. Well, next slide. Well, nobody, nobody comes away from this unscathed. We didn't know how to pronounce it. We, certain, we soon learned you couldn't cure it. Next slide. So like all the hundreds of thousands of families that Arthur and others have been talking about, we became one of many. That was a Thanksgiving picture with our dear dog Tilly and handsome Alan and beautiful Emily. And I tell you, it just ruins a family. So if we can be the poster child of like not what to go through, then we accept that honor with others. So our first, one of our first meetings going to Washington was to meet Leader Reed. You can see Jordan Zevon and, and Marilyn here and Doug, of course. We took our stories to the Hill. It, you have to, if you can't convey your story quickly, have it be cern, heard, felt, shared, and remember. Next slide. Then you lose, you lose that opportunity. This is IHME data, and over the course of a year in 2019, and this trend is, is, is ongoing, there are nearly 40,000 Americans die from preventable, preventable asbestos cause diseases every year. Next slide. Think about that. It's like Fenway Park Stadium. All of the people who love baseball, never coming back for another game. Next slide. Our stories matter, our stories, our voice. So what, what ADO has done in the past almost 20 years is create new ways to share our story with facts, with stacks, but with the faces and our loved ones. Next slide. We have family in Brazil. Fernanda's on her phone, she's missing this. But we have family, I say that with a smile, Fernanda. We have family in Brazil, remember this? Fernanda puts together an amazing conference. The federal labor prosecutors help to fund some of the education, we're grateful. And the people in Brazil come out to be part of family. Next slide. We have family in Italy. We have four lawyers here now, but in, you, in this photograph, you can see Earl's posters. We take them, we share, we care. We move on. It is not a moment, it is a movement. 2016, we're in Washington before our conference with families doing a community event. Due to COVID, we haven't done that. We haven't returned to that tradition, but we look forward to it. But those are the faces and the stories that impact change. Next slide. And we take our message to staff briefings. When the staffers look at us, and I know that James will share his, hopefully his staffer intro, Staffers don't understand about the nearly invisible fiber, no safe level, and that we have to prevent disease. So it is my job as a widow to remind them. Maybe it's my job as a mother. You'll see Bob and others in this photograph, and we make a heck of a team. Next slide. Here's what we've done. Uh, ADO started in 2004, but I'll, I'll, I'll begin with the first ban asbestos bill. And you can see we've had 17, what's the problem? We've had nine Alan Reinstein bills, 19 staff briefings, 18 resolutions. I'm getting tired. So when Bob and I first began working on Tosca reform with other colleagues, it was signed into law. Emily and I had the honor to watch President Obama sign that, 2016. We were supposed to get the job done. You're gonna hear more from Bob Sussman and Brent later, but I just want you to think seven years where are we today? Next slide. So we have another uh, Alan Reinstein ban bill, thanks to Senator uh, sponsors of Jeff Merkley and Congresswoman Bonamici. Next slide. And it is our job to get this done. Please roll the video of Jeff Merkley. He'll tell you why. 
We know that asbestos is a grave threat to public health. It's a known killer. But what many people don't know is that it hasn't been banned in the United States of America. It's been banned in more than 60 countries to protect the citizens of those nations, but not here. The longer we drag our feet, the more lives we put at risk. That's why Representative Bonamici and I have introduced the Alan Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act to finally end the importation of asbestos and use of asbestos in manufacturing products. Let's get this passed. It's long past time to end this public health threat. Senator Merkley is Senator one of our strongest allies and we're honored. Next slide. So last year I worked, what part of ADO's art advocacy and action is working on different art mediums. And I worked with political cartoonists because you can't get sued, I learned. If I, could, if I could take what I'm thinking and put it to cartoon form, I don't get sued. So that was a new open door for me. So this is ACC coming up to our conference. Obviously, what are their credentials? Well, they have been peddling this stuff uh, that there is safe level, we need it for water, et cetera. You heard from more from Bob. But the reality is the more we, the more we out those who think there's safe use or that lobby for continued use, the stronger we are. Next slide. So that's why today it's fairly special. Uh, we have issued our new report, and yes, it's a comprehensive analysis of imports, the impact on human health, and current regulations and policy. And we look forward to sending all of you a link to our report. Next slide. We have many stakeholders, and some of them are here today, but we are well armed with unions, public health, uh, scientific communities. Next slide. And yes, we have a partner here today. I'd like to ask Mike, please, was unarranged, to please stand. Mike Rep. Scott Sutton, CEO of Olin, emailed me on March 30th at 5 o'clock in the morning, the day Senator Merkley was going to introduce the Allen Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act. And I thought, oh my goodness, this must be spam like a Russian bride. And then I looked up and the email matched. It was Scott. He's been nothing but sincere. He and Olin, and Mike has gone to our meetings and so have Scott. I don't want to speak for them, but I will say they're, they support ending asbestos use with a seven-year plan, and we can spend more time later. But to have a partner attend our conference who believes in banning asbestos and supporting the Allen Reinstein bill, we all thank you, Mike and Olin. <laughs> and we want to get it done with the Republican that you're going to help us find. Next slide, please. <laughs> Well, you may think, what can I do? There is a, uh, an opportunity to send your letter to Congress. We have an action um, link, and you can send a personal letter. Uh, we hope that you'll follow the story. And remember that when you hear the Alan Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act, it is not for one man, Alan Reinstein. It's for the hundreds of thousands. And let's take education to the street. No natural disaster or man-made one should ever leave uh, residents and first responders exposed because people don't have the knowledge. ADO built this site. Is that it, Em? Oh, okay. One, okay. Sorry, spinning computer. Next slide. Send your letter to Congress. It's not loading. We're done. It's a wrap. So, uh, yeah, I, I put the, the clicker down when we have those kinds of problems. Yeah, send your letter to Congress. That's thanks to Chris. He helped make this site, so thank you, Chris. And we're on. We're, we have a goal. If you'd like to make a contribution in, in dollars, great. We have a goal the next 60 days, so you can either join the train and, and this movement, or you can step aside because we're going forward. And we have all the facts and stats, and we're getting it done. That's it.